Before we get started, do me a favor and smash that like button. I'd appreciate it. Okay, I'm on the tbuild.io website on the stakes tab. And I want to show you all something to clear up a few things for people that uh, they don't understand. So if you scroll all the way down below your uh, your uh, history there and it shows you information about the NFTs that you have and it divides them up by whether they're a 1.5 or a 2x multiplier so here you can see it says that my capacity is 230,000 which shows you that these are stackable and the way that figure is arrived at is if you look at the NFTs that I have I have one 30,000 capacity and I have two that are 100,000 capacity so if you add those all up that is 230,000 and so it shows here how much of it I'm currently using it's saying that I'm using 24,080 of that 230,000 capacity these NFTs they do not expire and they do not get used up in other words uh, if I take and sell one the person purchasing it will have the full capacity of that NFT that I sold them even though it was being used by me when I had it so if you buy uh, an NFT multiplier it's good forever as long as it's in your wallet it will be applied up to the capacity of that NFT and as I said they are stackable as this shows there the capacity of all of your 2x NFTs are added together to show that I have a total capacity of 230,000 and then below that it's showing that I am currently using 24,080 so I have uh, over 200,000 excess capacity or growing room if you will uh, and uh, the analogy when you're thinking about buying an NFT is when you went shopping for shoes when you were a kid your mother always wanted you to buy a pair of shoes that was a little bit bigger than what you needed to give you as she put it growing room so uh, you know because she knew that hey they may fit perfectly right now but six months down the road because you're a kid and you're growing they're not going to be any good anymore because your feet will have gotten bigger and you you would need a bigger shoe at that point so buying these NFTs you need to consider not just how much T-bill you currently have but you want to have excess capacity that you can grow into because they don't expire so you know I have uh, 230,000 I bought two of the gold one was for me and the other one is potentially as an investment that I can resell but in yesterday's video I showed you what that NFT is worth to me so it's it's worth more to me to keep it unless I can find somebody that's willing to pay me at least 86,000 T fuel and of course that's based on the current price of T fuel so that figure will go down if the price of T fuel uh, goes up then the number of T fuel would go required to purchase it goes down because the value of an NFT is expressed in dollars like these gold when they were originally sold were twelve hundred dollars or the equivalent of twelve hundred dollars in T fuel so one day you know it might have been fifty nine hundred T fuel but 
then the price of T-Fuel dropped, and so you had to come up with more T-Fuel to make up $1,200 uh, for that NFT. So I'm sitting on these, and I'm not willing to part with one unless somebody's willing to pay me essentially 10 times what I paid for it because I'll need it someday and these don't expire so uh, why would I want to sell it for less because eventually I'm just gonna have to turn around and buy another one so you know you have to you know you're gonna have to offer me some good money before I'm gonna even consider selling it to you so uh, anyway and as I said in the other uh, well I put a comment down that if you're going to buy a NFT multiplier, there's a lot of scammers out there that are going to try and tell you that they'll sell you one and they're going to make a deal that's, uh, you know, too good to be true, so to speak, because they're going to take your money and they're not going to give you an NFT. Uh, so, you know, the best place for you to go would be a platform like Open Theta because the way it works is it's a smart contract. The seller has to put their NFT into a smart contract and that way when you use open theta to buy it it's guaranteed you're going to get it you know you can't get scammed that way and if somebody's like hey I'll sell it to you for you know so much less the likelihood is they're going to take your t-fuel but uh, they're not going to they're never going to send you an NFT because they probably don't even have one they're just scamming people you know they're counting on people's stupidity to uh, not protect themselves so don't fall prey to a scammer that's going to try and sell you one through the comments go to open theta and buy them there well that's a wrap for this presentation so cue the music please email all questions for the G pool AMA to AMA at gpool.io and uh, do it soon. If you enjoyed the video, then hit that thumbs up for me, and I'll see you in the next video.